previously on Central Control. Final part of our series looking at the Central Control teleprompter. There's chaos in the streets of Nottingham. I mean, I am considered a soap opera expert. I think Brookside especially is so culturally important. Fascinating, for the absolutely fascinating. That is it, we are done. But that's not quite the end of this series because there's one more thing I'd like to show you. We kind of covered in a previous video last year how important it is that the talent has some indication of how long is left in a video segment. So they're not caught off guard when we cut back to them. So thanks to variables in central control 3.1, we've got a new way to show the talent how long is left in a video segment straight in their prompter. So they've, they've got eyes on it and they know exactly what's going on in the production. And this is achieved using variables. So I've created us a new script. It's maybe a little bit basic, but it's enough to convey the idea of what we're trying to do. So if I just cut to that, you can kind of see this script. So what I've done here is it's this little script, another episode of the ever popular Chodo Max's news thing where we talk about our trip to IBC, where we announced Central Control Core. Yes. That's right, central control, cross-platform, running on embedded systems. Who'd have thought it? Anyway, and in the script, we look at a, a video. We're going to look at the promo video for that new product, and we're going to show in the prompter how long is left in that video. So you'll see here, what I've done is I've used this syntax in the prompter. This is new. Uh, and what this is, is it is percent global variable, in this case, one and then percent to escape it. And you can actually see I've been able to put right after it remaining. So it's not just going to show th just the time with no explanation. It's actually going to show uh, what it means. So that's that's fantastic. I've loaded this script into our prompter and you can see right now it just says remaining. Uh, it's just quite a short production. Um, and we've got a trigger for roll VT. We already kind of know how to do that, so I won't show that. Um, and then it just says remaining. So looking at central control, let me just minimize this for you. Uh, looking at central control, I'm just going to open the variables window just to prove that I can, if I type some data here, hello, you'll see now that has appeared straight in the prompter. Um, but Thankfully, you don't need to be there typing every every second that the video playback updates. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll just remove this. I've got a, a vMix project here. There's my camera. I'm just going to cut back to me. Uh, you can see I'm here. And in the preview, I've got my uh, promo video for Central Control Core. So let's just take a look at this. I'm going to um, head on over to central control again. This is very much the, la the project we had from the last video. And you'll see that vMix uh, has a two controls. One is active source elapsed time, and one is remaining time. Now, we need one more module in our project to make this work. We need something that's going to let us take the time code from vMix, the playback time code, and send it to a variable. We have a way to do that, and it is the uh, self-titled central control device here in central control. So I've searched for it in the add device menu, and I'm going to add it to my project, and as always, enable it. Uh, and now I've got that. I've got everything I need to pull this off. So I'm going to click controls in vMix again. I'm going to select the remaining time because that's what we want to show. And then I'm going to under, I'm going to set my target to the central control device. And I'm going to say set variable. So what this is going to do is it's going to link the incoming time code from vMix to that variable. And now that is done. So I'm going to really quickly, because I didn't already do this, I'm just going to create a quick trigger for us to automatically roll the VT um, as we kind of looked at in the previous video. I finished mapping the automation. If you want to see more about that, check out the last video in this series. Uh, but now we're ready to see how this kind of looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play on my prompter. So hello everyone and welcome to another episode of News Thing. 
slow down a bit. We're, we uh, went to Amsterdam, very excited to announce our new cross-platform version of Central Control. Let's take a look at promo video for Central Control Core. When it hits this, it's going to roll the video and you'll see, I'm going to pause the prompt to here. I could have done an automation for that, but I didn't. Um, you'll see straight in the prompter now, I've got the time remaining shown to my talent right here in the prompter, which is, is incredibly useful because they're going to be looking at the camera down the barrel and they'll be able to see how long is remaining in that video segment. And that is how you can show video time code in the teleprompter. Now, we could also set up triggers to make it resume once the video has finished. To learn how to do that, I suggest looking at the previous video in this series. But I want to do you one better and show you that you can actually sh show any arbitrary message in the teleprompt so we could flash a message to our talent. And what I've got here is I've got this X keys, uh, XK24, and we're just going to set up a button on this to allow us to flash a message to our talent. I'm going to plug this in. And let's go back to central control. So I will add the XK24 to my project here. Um, there it is. And we will enable this. It's working. And I'm going to add, uh, we covered this in another video, but I'm going to add two state buttons so I can essentially create like a touchdown button. When I hold it down, it will show one message. When I release it, it will show another message. So let's come find that. Two state buttons, great. Turn that on. So what we're going to do first is we're going to map the con virtual controls of the two state button to do two different features, one when it's pressed, one when it's released. So we'll click controls. And we're going to click, uh, we're going to first do the A. So you'll notice, and we do have a video on two state buttons that you should watch, but you'll see that for every one of the 32, 64 virtual buttons, there's an A and a B, and those represent the different actions, one for press and one for release, or a toggle if you wish. So I'm going to once again target the central control device, and you'll see we have loads of commands for the variables, but in my case, I'm going to set just set it to a value. So we're going to just actually, what we'll do is we'll have this one as empty, and we'll set the when I push it down to say wrap. So the talent knows you're out of time, it's time to wrap up. So we'll map that. So we've got nothing on A, empty, and then we've got wrap on B. Then I'm, all I need to do now is map the physical X keys panel to the two state button. So we'll click controls and we'll do matrix one one. We'll just use the first button here. And let's go to two state buttons and we'll just do a button press temp. What temp means is while it's held down, it will do the action. The normal button press would just be like a toggle. So I'm going to map that. Fantastic. And now if we come to the prompter, you'll see it's probably so, yep, still got our time code. But now when I press this, it says wrap and you'll see the remaining. Um, I can just edit that out in the script. And as if it was magic, it will automatically update the script for me. So I hold this down and it shows wrap when I release, which is not what I want. But fear not, because all we need to do to fix that is we can go to this command, uh, the two state button press. We click invert. I can now invert the behavior of this. And now it says wrap when I hold it down. When I release, it doesn't. So there you go. Show a message in my teleprompter flash it as fast as I want to really get the talent's attention. And that'll be it for this video, but stay tuned to this channel, subscribe, turn on notifications for all the latest news on Central Control Core, some demos of that, information on its release date. But also stay tuned for next week where we're gonna look at how you can use the timeline-based flex macros in Central Control to do an entire top of show sequence from a single button. I'll see you for that one.